Well, um, <sighs> thought for today's 365, I'll do something slightly different. Um, and uh, for those who followed the organic development of the boathouse, you'll have known about the screen that we have when we have our film lights. Uh, but I just thought you'd like to see it um, set up as a mini lecture theatre. Um, <laughs> I think the, uh, the series of lectures I'm going to be doing um, essentially I like to do small lectures um, because I like I like people to participate and um, and I find with any anything more than sort of like 25 that can sometimes be difficult so the lectures that I'll be doing oops sorry I nearly dropped my phone this is my new phone which I still don't quite know how to use and I need to get a case for it, but I don't know the best type of case to get. Probably one that will protect it every time I dropped it. I have dropped it quite a few times, and um, it's done very well. It's a Sony Z3. Thank you, Sony, for uh, being um, very tolerant um, of my uh, clumsiness. So, yes, the lectures will be uh, for, for a maximum of about 25 people. So I've got 24 chairs set up, and then there's room for a couple of wheelchairs, uh, should people need them. Um, I'm going to need some help. Uh, I'm afraid, guys, I shall be enlisting volunteers. So, uh, A, obviously next week I, I shall need some help clearing out uh, what used to be um, uh, a slightly dif different and unorthodox research facility. Uh, that's going to be next weekend. Uh, upstairs in the boathouse we've got plenty of sleeping arrangements, so anybody who wants to stop over. But for the lecture uh, series, I'm going to do a series, I think, of eight lectures looking at... Um, basic information, harm reduction strategies. Um, I'm going to look at social, legal, physical, psychological sort of um, issues. Uh, yes, so anyway, those who've been to any of my lectures before will know that I can sometimes... Um, I like to get people involved, uh, which is why um, I've kind of like left a little bit of space here, because I like, I like to try as much as possible to get people um, to participate in a different, slightly different ways. What I do need, I need help getting a closed loop uh, for hearing aids in here. Um, I need one of those little um, boom microphones uh, that cordless, uh, so that um, I, can, I, I need to put those speakers up as well somehow. I'm not sure where they're going to go. Um, or if anyone's got any smaller speakers they no longer want, that I can plug into the amp and things. Um, I desperately, desperately need to find a way to get the disabled toilet as a disabled toilet. It has already got a wide door frame. Oh, by the way, this is a hat that was left over after Gareth's party, if anybody wants to claim it. But um, I will clear all this out. And um, I, need, I need somebody who knows specifically the best way to make this disabled. There is a toilet in there, but there are no grab bars or anything. Uh, so someone who, who's a specialist at that, uh, I phoned. Um, I, I did phone the council uh, yesterday, and they told me to fuck off um, unless I wanted to pay them a huge amount of money. Um, which, anyway, doesn't matter. So, someone with experience, and and probably someone who could act as a guinea pig. I know I, I do know quite a few people who who use a wheelchair for their mobility, but I don't really just want to take the piston and just ask them to, you know, just because you're in a wheelchair, you know, it's almost like, you know, does he take sugar? Um, sorry, that's my thing about attitudes towards disability. The women's loo, I will clear it out. Um, <laughs> I've started, as you know, it was all full of chairs and things. Uh, what else do I need? I need graphic designer to do some stuff. Um, I got a, a, a note from a mate called Rob who does a lot of printing. Uh, the answer to your question, mate, is I don't know uh, what um, just yet what I need printing. I need I will need a designer to design some graphics so that I can represent some of the concepts that I'll be presenting. Um, what else do I need? Proofreaders. Oh, quite a lot of things. But I mean, the microphone is the important thing. I can speak in here, but um, I when I when I um, I, I could probably get away without a microphone, uh, but I tend generally just to sort of like 
waffle and if it's all recorded and stuff then i listen to it later and so i need a microphone <laughs> that's that's that uh oh crumbs what else do i need i know people say look you're supposed to be chilling out and sort of like focusing but this is how i do it you know this is what i do um i talk bollocks to people these lectures by the way are going to be free um even though, you know, I could go and give this lecture in America and be paid 3,000 quid for it. I'm going to make these lectures free and they'll be sort of like, um, you know, cucumber and mint water and orange and lemon water and things available for people. And you can buy tea or coffee or whatever. And I'm asking for a donation. Um, and and uh, a friend of mine up at the university said, well, look, why don't you just suggest a donation of 25 quid? I'm not going to do that. I don't, you know, that, I, I'm, I'm going to have some quite substantial costs, recent, sort of like re recent events have, have, have led to the, the thing that, you know, and I'm, I'm the first to admit, I'm not really, not very good with money, um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm probably not the best person for that, so I, I, I'll, be, I'll be suggesting donations, I don't care. If, if you find the lecture useful, that's more important. What I want to try and do is increase awareness and get, get people to start a discussion or a debate. Um, I, don't want, I don't want this necessarily to be a big political activity. I just want to try and raise a little bit of awareness. Um, so that's what, um, that's, that's what this is about. But I am going to need some money. Um, so whatever donation you feel appropriate I will very happily accept but otherwise even if you can't afford it the lecture is free all of the lectures in the series will be free and if you if you if you don't have a you know if you're potless <laughs> at least I've got a bit of a sense of humor I just I just I just realized what I said how if you're potless you can still attend the lecture all donations are, are anonymous and voluntary um, that's fine, uh, but I'd, I'd sooner do the lectures. Um, I'm doing them for free, basically. So we've got a video projector up there. So I need people who know about doing graphic design, you know, making pretty pictures, because uh, they'll be projected onto that screen from the video projector. Um, I also need people who know how to use <laughs> how to use Microsoft computers, because what I'd like to do is make. Um, is make all of the research uh, available in some lecture notes, uh, and uh, and those lecture notes will be presented both on paper but also electronically as a PowerPoint presentation. Now I know some people might just have sort of choked on their coffee uh, because I'm very well known for never doing PowerPoint presentations. I loathe them. <laughs> in every possible sense. However, okay, I need to uh, comply a little bit and um, and not be the eccentric, uh, sort of slightly sort of scatty, balmy English professor. And I've actually got to produce things that other people can take away and use should they need to. Uh, so if you if you know how to use all that stuff, please let me know. Uh, other people keep saying, oh, "How are you? I'm all right." Do I sound like you know? I'm about to go and jump in the canal i'm exceptionally heavily medicated more so than probably anybody else you're likely to meet i'm not suicidal i'm not sort of massively depressed i'm trying to be functional i'm trying to focus on um kind of finding a positive from what has been let's face it a negative um in some senses even though that negative as far as i'm concerned that negative was not a failure okay it was unfortunate but the the consequences of that are going to be costly so that's why I'm doing these lectures basically to improve uh, your understanding of, of what I've done why I've done it also to raise awareness of some of the issues because it's not always as clear-cut as people believe um, also just to arm you with some information that might prevent you or your loved ones being ripped off and the victims of scams uh, and also I think you know like to have a bit of fun I've <laughs> part of why I keep getting invited back to America doing these informal kind of like lecture tours is because 
people enjoy them and I, I want people to enjoy these lectures um, so uh, that's it that's what I'm focusing on at the moment and I know you know some people say well you know shouldn't you just be sitting in the sun or whatever my way of relaxation is generally to read a me read, read some kind of scientific journal or, um, <laughs> or to look, look at some research methodology and pick holes in it or something um, that's why that's the way I relax um, pretty soon we'll have our new boat outside um, and I will be doing physical stuff in there, fitting it out. Um, so I'm not just doing, you know, the boring kind of like scientist stuff. I will be doing proper, real fitting boats out, you know, real, real work, uh, fitting our new broad beam out outside. Um, and uh, essentially, um, you don't have to worry about me. Really, you don't. I'm, you know, I'm a big boy. Uh, <laughs> sadly, bigger in some areas <laughs> than I'd perhaps like to be. Uh, but that we've got curry in it, you know. Build myself up. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's for Natalie. Um, right. Anyway, so this is today's three six five from the the ever changing boathouse. We have our beautiful new floor. And I have it currently set up as a small lecture theatre. Um, we will, obviously, we'll still be having parties if anyone wants to come to a party here and perhaps make a donation. That's all right as well. Oh, God, I'm sounding like really kind of sort of like financially focused. I fucking hate money and the damage it causes. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to need some, guys. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, dig deep. Uh, but as I say, the lectures are going to be free. And if you don't, if you can't afford to make a donation, that's okay. It really, honestly, it's okay. I'd, I'd sooner do a lecture to a room full of people who are going to benefit from the lecture rather than you know half a dozen people who can afford to attend. Uh, and that's always been my that's always been my focus academically. Um, it shouldn't be exclusive. It shouldn't be down to money. But but if you can afford anything, please, thank you. That'd be ever so nice. Uh, and yes, we'll have parties, and hopefully, we're going to get our house band back. Um, in here and have some fun and you know look there's a lot of shit things happening in this world okay and there's a lot of people feeling really down at the moment because of the election there's a lot of people feeling really scared because we might not have an NHS in five years there's a lot of people who are suffering really really badly and deeply in Nepal right there's a lot of bad things there's always an opportunity to turn a negative experience into something positive all right that's that is my focus and and with the wonderful people that I know and the wonderful people that I've got in my life we will get something positive out of this there will be something positive comes out of this believe me it sometimes takes a while just to refocus but um, there will be something positive comes out of all this. So that is my 3654 Saturday. And as far as lecture theatres go, look, yeah, okay. Haven't got an interactive whiteboard. Don't need one. Fucking hate them. Don't like to use one either. Uh, but we've got a video projector and screen and stuff. So um, please, people, express an interest uh, in attending the lectures. I'll be putting the, the full kind of like lecture diary up at some point. I will clear all that side out as well, well so we can have nibbles if anyone wants to make I don't know, sandwiches or stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, teas and coffees and things and maybe the odd gin and tonic, who knows? I don't know. Um, and I'll try and... Um, but I, I, I desperate, at the moment, I'm desperate for things like getting the closed loop system in for people with hearing difficulties. Desperately want the... Um, the disabled loo to be accessible, please. That is a priority. And so anyone who can help with that, please do. Uh, microphone for the PA, wireless microphone, you know, boom, boom mic for the PA. It will need to be a reasonably good one. Um, so, yeah, anything like that, please. And, and anybody who, who kind of like just wants to come and just sort of like, I know, hang out and... and, and help me express some of the ideas that I've got for these lectures. These are not going to be academic lectures. That's what I, I, I forgot to mention that. This is not going to be a structured academic lecture series, okay? This is going to hopefully be understandable, 
won't use too much jargon. I want it to be understandable. All right, so this is for real people, okay? This isn't just for propeller head academics. This is for real people. Um, so yeah, there you go. I've spoken far too much, and thank you for indulging me in listening to today's 365. And I'll leave you with our lecture theatre.